Hey everyone, welcome to Science Based Fitness. If you clicked on today's video, you want to learn a few exercises that are gonna help you hit the golf ball farther and hopefully with the driver over 300 yards. Now, of course, I have to say, if you're someone only hitting the ball 200 yards, then you're probably not gonna gain 100 yards from a few exercises. But we are hoping those that are hitting the ball 250, maybe 275, you'll be able to gain that additional distance that you need. Now, by no means is my swing here perfect and I could use a lot of pointers and use some more mechanical work. But for someone like myself, who's a personal trainer with a degree in exercise science and someone who is certified with Titleist in their TPI certification program, I try to bring the mechanical components of fitness and exercise to golf to help improve you as a golfer. A lot of my older videos discussed EMG data that looked at what muscles were the most active during the golf swing. Now I plan to remake some of those videos, make it very clear and concise so that the viewer, you at home, can really understand simply what muscle groups you should be emphasizing when you exercise to help correlate best to your golf swing. But today we're taking right to the gym and giving you three exercises that are explosive targeting type two muscle fibers and give you some extra distance on your golf shot. So let's head right over there. All right guys, here we are with our first movement. This is called a landmine press. And there's a few different variations. This will be a unilateral movement for the shoulders, meaning we're just pressing up with one side at a time. We're gonna begin this with basically three quarters of a squat, driving up through a pressing movement, very explosive and quick. I'm gonna slow this down a little bit for the second half so you can see what I'm doing. We're encompassing a half to three quarter squat and exploding up into a shoulder press. Now this requires a lot of squeezing and contracting of the abs to stay stable and level. We're also getting a good amount of pec activation in what we call our clavicular head, which is also known as the upper portion of our chest. As we know from previous videos on EMG data that the pec is super active during the golf swing. Now here on screen, you can see what I typically recommend for the average golfer is three sets anywhere between six to 10 reps. Our second movement here is called a punch press. This is a very similar movement, but now we get some rotational forces mixed in. You wanna attach a band to some type of a stable surface. You can see how this is very similar. We're mixing in half to three quarters of a squat and we're punching with a rotation. I tell my clients, imagine you're trying to extend your hand as far away from that same side foot as you can. You can see here that when I rotate back to the starting position, I don't let my shoulders go beyond the point that I started at. So the punch movement and the control back are just as important as each other. And here on screen, you can see similar idea for the average individual, three sets, a little bit higher rep range between eight to 12 reps each side. Moving on to movement number three, here is a kettlebell swing. You can see in this video here that my hips are moving in a forward and backwards motion, really emphasizing the squeeze through the glutes as I thrust forward. This is an explosive movement through those hips. That's one of the main drivers, which we know the glutes are super active during the golf swing. We also get a lot of our erector spinae, and when I face forward here, you can see a lot of the abs, the front deltoids involved as well throughout this movement. Now, of course, there's other movements I could have put on this list, but for the video's sake, I wanted to keep it short. And if you'd love to hear more about it, just let me know in the comments and maybe I'll make a part two to this video. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what future videos you'd love to see and consider liking if you enjoyed this and you found value in it. And we'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.